We're going car shopping. What do you want to drive first? Let's go. Buckle up, everyone. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. I am just packing up. Wifey and I are off to Kelowna. We're gonna go car shopping, you guys. We're looking for yet another supercar for the channel and probably more importantly to Wifey, we're looking for a new vehicle to get rid of and replace the Range Rover Sport that we've had. It's been a great vehicle for the most part um, until we had an engine issue where they couldn't really figure it out. They put a whole new engine in the car. Now, that's not to say that that's gonna happen again, but we're looking to mix it up. We get tired of our vehicles quickly, so we have to go and catch a flight today. Now, before we take off and jet set, hear me out for a minute. I use this toothbrush. It's called Dazzle Pro. It's a sonic toothbrush. It's absolutely amazing. They're sponsoring today's video. A lot of you have seen me use this time and time again, and they always do these limited discounts on this product. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's made my teeth actually a lot whiter, which is great because I'm in front of the camera and you guys all the time, but I think the average person likes to brush their teeth. And if you don't, that's just gross. Here are the benefits of this. It will brush your teeth 40,000 strokes opposed to the 400 or 300 that you can do manually. The other cool thing is it's got four modes. So if you turn it on, it's got clean, soft, massage, oh, whiten, and massage. And you can use those different modes however you like. I switch it up all the time. It's got a two minute timer as well. So it'll tell you when to switch and where to brush in the zones, opposed to just brushing in one area and possibly not getting that area clean enough. Now, one of my other features that I love about this is I hate how you just have your toothbrush sometimes sitting out up top up here and well, let's just say the bacteria from around the bathroom attach itself to the bristles. This is gonna prevent that from happening. Why? Well, right here in this little bad boy, you have your own sanitization chamber. That's right, right in here if you take this off, pop that in there and just close that up like that. See how the light came on? You got ultraviolet light, which is gonna sanitize all the bristles. That's always a huge thing for me. Now, it's also very light and portable. I'm gonna bring it with me on my trip because it's what I use to brush my teeth and well, it just fits in my bag like so. You guys, go and pick up yourselves one of the Sonic toothbrushes, the Dazzle Pro. Links in description, huge discount. I promise you, you're not gonna regret this. It has been an amazing product. It helps me, you know, make it more mindless in the mornings before I rush out the door because I know exactly that two minute mark and brushing around my mouth that I need to get so my teeth stay nice and clean and white like this. Okay, now we need to run out because we're off to the airport. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to Kelowna. The plan is coffee. I'm dying. I've had no coffee, no breakfast, but we made it and we made our flight. I thought we weren't going to make it. I Wifey, lied. no, she lied. She said, we got 35 minutes to get to the flight. You got to hurry. So I'm like rushing. And then we're like halfway to the airport and she goes, oh, babe, you can slow down. We actually have an hour. I just know you're always late for everything. Good one. You got me. Let's go find some coffee and then get on with our day. So here's the plan. We're going to August luxury motor cars. We're going car shopping. Wifey's looking for a new ride. Probably an SUV, not okay. too sure. I'm getting a Porsche. Oh, she's already decided she's getting a Porsche. How do you know you're getting a Porsche? You know, you're telling me, okay. Wifey's getting a Porsche. <laughs> I thought you wanted a G-Wagon. 
any of the above. I'm sure the guys over at August have something for us. I was just talking to Mike from August and he was like, you guys are sitting at the airport. I'm so sorry. I'm going to send one of my guys over right away. And then he texts me, Matt August, the owner of the dealership is coming to get us right now. Uber? Are you our Uber? Uber's here. What up, bro? How's it going? Here, I got to give you a pound because I right. got coffee. I'd like to introduce Hi. you to my wife. Hi. How's it nice going? Nice to meet you. Um, oh, look at, oh, look at this. Extra tips. Let's go. This is, hold on a second. You hold that. <laughs> oh, extra tip. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Carbon everywhere. Diesel's done something. This is like the Kelowna Uber Black, right? Yeah. Just take it easy. Our friendly Royal Canadian Mounted Police are right there waiting for, well, probably me or you, knowing you in this area. Oh, Did I spill that? <laughs> oh, I'm, a, like that. I'm a bit of a degenerate without any coffee in the morning. She's like, we're getting a Porsche. I'm like, how do you know we're getting a Porsche? And then she just stares at me. I'm like, we're getting a Porsche. She wants to see what you guys have. Now, they have in the corner, speaking of Porsches, the car you want in white. If you're going to start driving the family daily driver and taking the five-year-old everywhere, then I'll get that. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to sell the deal. Do you have an SUV? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go look at some cars. Okay. Mike set them all up. I picked what I thought was most practicable for the family. I'm scared. Come on. <laughs> Why are you scared? You should trust me. I'm your husband. It's you. It's all. What do you mean? It's me. It's me. <laughs> look what you guys. Did I can't Dave's trust car. you. I didn't do anything to Dave's car. <laughs> that was all Alex. Here, after you, my lady. Okay, so I've got a few vehicles lined up here. I told the guys what we were looking for. Family vehicle that will be good in all four seasons because we obviously live in beautiful British Columbia where now the seasons have changed. It's gonna snow at some point. Panamera? You like this? That one right there? Nah. I got something a little more special in store for you. I know you like SUVs, but I thought I'd throw in a truck, a real truck, because people sometimes give me a hard time that I call our Range Rover a truck. So here's what I have for you. You said a Porsche. What do you think of the white Porsche Cayenne? Yep. Okay, come check this thing out. We have had one of these in the past, yeah. a turbo. It didn't the go turbo. over so well. No. This, is, this is not the turbo model, this is a GTS. Okay. So, pretty? Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing was, I figured a slightly larger SUV. So this is not just your normal AMG. This is a Brabus fully customized AMG GL, or I believe it's an AMG GL. It's the GL anyhow, I know that much. We're working out the details here. So this, I believe has a third row, does it not? Yeah, optional. Right, and it's pretty cool because this is the Brabus, yeah, so it's the GL 63. This has the really bad motor in it, but look at it, what do you think of the wide body kit? Nice. And the big wheels? So those are kind of our normal run of the mill choices. But then I thought, you know what? I always say truck. So I also got him to pull out the Raptor. What do you think? <laughs> this cannot be my daily driver. Why can it not be your daily driver? A big, beautiful red Raptor. Now this isn't just a normal Raptor either. Kind of like August does, they don't do normal. This is a Velociraptor. So this is supercharged by Hennessy Performance. This truck, guess how much horsepower this truck has? 700 horsepower and the best part is i'm gonna make you drive it today are there snow tires yeah they look studded <laughs> i think they're studded tires it's just prepping for winter it's just prepping for winter you'll be good you'll be good i'll try it okay listen i know what you're thinking i'm sorry it's not big enough right you're like i want it to be bigger damon by the way we're talking about trucks guys keep your mind on track here what about this that is an absolute no well why <laughs> We have enough in our neighborhood. <laughs> well, we have enough jacked up. Do, we, do this would decimate all no in our neighborhood. Anyway, five four. I'm You're five good. Four. <laughs> You're actually sure head shorter than the door handle. Go ahead, get in there, please. How do people drive these? It's not happening. Just no, for fun, they gave us the keys. Do you want to try driving it no, down the road? No, no. I actually don't want it's to see like, you. This is like monster truck for me. It is basically a monster truck. <laughs> hey, you guys, he's in California like a couple times a month. How am I supposed to get out of that? Okay, so that's a no. But I have one more vehicle that I have to show you first. So this is a definite no. That's 
No. Okay, I tried. What about an old truck? Um, Hummer. SUV truck-esque. It's definitely a truck chassis, this one. This is the H1. You're not gonna drive it? No. Okay, hold on. I just wanna show you how wide these trucks are. Hi, <laughs> way over here. Can you believe you sit here as the driver and the passenger has all of this space? Hey, look at that, biker. What do you think? Good for you and Presley? This or that? <laughs> I don't think either <laughs> of them. This and that are probably about as practical. <laughs> That's so, probably more reliable. What do you want to drive first? Okay, it's got well, 700 let's horsepower. Drive this one first, fine. Drive you, okay, let's go. Velociraptor. Fire this thing up. I want to hear it. It's got 700 oh, horsepower. Can you, not, can you not touch the pedals? I can, but I can't. <laughs> oh. Hennessy Performance is a performance shop that does all sorts of aftermarket modifications to Raptors and they build their own supercar and everything. Oh, that doesn't sound like a normal Raptor. Give it a little gas. Orchard. I'm not going to steal an apple. I'm not stealing an apple. I'm not stealing an apple. I can't do it on camera. We picked a road. The first road we hit was like a double school zone. We are now free. Yeah. Let's show everybody what this vehicle's made out of. Punch it. Give it. Give it. Hammer it. Floor. Top Gear right now. Oh, you feel like Top Gear. <laughs> Listen to you. So how does the how does it feel driving an actual pickup truck? It actually doesn't feel like you're driving a truck. It, it's pretty comfortable, but the like the suspension in the Range Rover is tighter. That yeah. Does, does that make sense? This is designed to absorb a lot of like yeah. um, shock. Yeah, it feels like a little like boaty to me on the road. A little just boaty. Is what I'm used to, but yeah, we look at driving it. Thank you. A lot of guys like a girl, drop a comment, a lot of guys like a hot girl driving a pickup truck. I thought you were just going to straight up hate it, but so far so good. If you got one of these, I would drive it. I don't think I would want it for my daily driver. I understand. Personally, but I wouldn't be opposed to us having one for our family. So now that there's nobody in front of us, absolutely floor the gas for a minute. Well, you can feel the supercharger. Look at you, tossing it right into a corner. Well, you told me to. I know, I got you, <laughs> I got you. Do it for you. the vlog. Do it for the vlog, baby. Fastback Mustang. So, what'd you think of this thing? I love it. I see why people get these. It makes you want to just like run <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does make you want to run <laughs> over. Not what I need for me and, and Presley, but um, if you got one, I would totally drive it. All right, let's go on to the next one. Is the Brabus GL63. Looking forward to this one? A little bit more promising. A little more what you're thinking of. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Cold start this thing, baby. Sounds mean for an SUV. This thing sounds cool. Yes. It's got a little grumble. Like, like look at you in your seat. It's an AMG, that's why. That's true. What do you think of the interior of this? I like it. It's can, nice, isn't it? You can put a lot of what are these? people in Isn't here. It televisions? Yes. Keep yeah. the kid busy? Yes. Just what you want when you're a parent? You want totally. to be left alone <laughs> if you're the only parent in the vehicle driving? Alcantara leather steering wheel? Uh, yep. And this is the Designo package, so it's got all the fancy like sports stitching and soft leather, and Bang this awesome. is this is called piano black 
wood Bang & Olufsen sound system. Mm -hmm. But let's just take it for a drive. Okay. Don't run over the R8. That's our ride for the rally. First thoughts, what do you think of this one? I love it, it's so much smoother than the Range Rover. It's an AMG motor, or engine, right? Yep, hand built. So, yeah, this will suck back the gas. Yeah. Especially if you drive it the way you were just driving it up that road. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, it has way better handling. Um, yes, and we are driving it in sport, and we have the dampers on right here. So that's the perks of an AMG. It also has like much less road noise. Ah, oh, good point. Yeah. It is very quiet for the cabin. It's nice back here, babe. How there's, do you like it compared to what we have now? There's way more room. Like, it's really roomy back here in a GL. It is a significantly larger vehicle, but considering this is as far back as I would want for leg room, I still have plenty of leg room. It's cool that the screens are here. You get a lot more light back here. It's not really dark because you have the pano roof above you. And the seats are really comfortable. Like this is a really comfortable seat. The one thing I will give the Range Rover for the back seats is they have a little more support. Where if you go around a corner in this seat and it's leather, it does, you do kind of slide out a little bit. It doesn't have quite as much hug. And then you've got the extra seats right here. So you got a seven passenger. There you go, hun. This thing's pretty nice. So nice. We could have more kids and fill it up. Oh, wifey can drive. So we are obviously now in the Porsche Cayenne GTS and oh, she's still going. <laughs> she's having fun. I think she likes it. drive sporty yeah porsche is known for their handling it sounds great yeah when you're ripping up there because it's turbo it's got that little turbo <laughs> fart that little yeah. <laughs> 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 sounds good you really got on it you're just flying up that road good thing we're in a, a private area what are some of the standout features that you notice of this vehicle opposed to the other ones we drove the seats hug you a little bit more Oh, definitely. Uh, I like the steering wheel better on this than the Mercedes. Why? It's stiffer. Because you were saying that the steering wheel itself was small on the Mercedes. It felt small. The fit and finish is gorgeous. I like the back seats that they have like more support in them. How do you like the console kind of on this angle with the shifter like that? I like it. It's different. It's unique. There's like no other vehicle that has that, right? <laughs> So now we are in a GTS with a pano roof. Look at the smile. Wifey's happy now. Yeah. Much better? Yes. That's and that, dark. This, this is a year newer. Yeah. But essentially all the same. So instead of carbon though, this one's got like that piano black finish, which I think is nice. Yeah. Give us race car wifey mode. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Just hammer it out of this corner. Floor it. Oh, look at you go. My turn, my turn, you've had enough. Buckle up everyone. I like the look of this one. All black, thoughts guys. And it's got the cool like quad LED headlights. Fit now. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit high. How do you feel with the power? I like it. I like this. See, we had a Porsche before you guys. We had a Cayenne Turbo, it was a 2011, and it was just the absolute piece of, it was a lemon, it was a lemon. We have not given up on Porsche. This is maybe the Cayenne that'll redeem it all for us. 
We have a nice view up here. It's really beautiful. You're gonna help us choose what the next family wagon, if you wanna call it that, is going to be. Like a Velociraptor. Smash that subscribe button. Wifey and I are gonna think about what it is one of these could potentially be for the next Friar Fam, DD Fam SUV. All right, Mike. Hey. Hey. Thanks a lot for no letting the wife and I take these SUVs out slash truck. Yep. I couldn't believe it. She was actually more impressed with the Velociraptor than I anticipated. I like the Porsche. I think she does too. But she was kind of going on about the AMG. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. There you go. A little gangster in the wife. A little room for more kids. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was going to get you guys out in this thing. I thought it would be a blast to have you guys go for a cruise in this car. I would absolutely love to go for a rip in this. However... I know exactly why we're not going for ripping it because when it's wet out, this is not the car. This is not the car you want to drive. No. But at least this has TC. Yeah. But very cool. So yeah. original? I'm just joking. <laughs> no. Whoa, this is a really, really well done car, hey? Yeah, beautiful build. This is a, a 427? No, it's a 427 model. Yes. But that's a 389. Oh, so what kind of power does that put out? This one was dyno. I love how I just put you on the spot with yes. that, hey? You better know your numbers. You know what? We just got it in. I've got the dyno chart. I don't know exactly what it was and I don't want to guess. I would imagine that it's enough because that's not exactly a, a tiny motor for a car that weighs next to nothing. Uh, yeah. To be honest, the, super, the, the SUV thing's wifey's whole deal, but I'm looking for always another supercar. Another super car. It was cool that we got Dave, his R8. However, that lasted all of what, a couple of weeks and now I'm back to like, what's in it for what's, me? What's, what's in it, it for me? Next? I remember seeing a couple comments. You guys were saying you liked the 458. Yeah. So we just got one in. So a 2015 458 Spider. Spider. Which you haven't done yet. Your I last one's a coupe, right? Correct. So I think this would look pretty sick. Done oh up. man. We'll have to chat about this. Yeah, for We'll sure. have to chat about this one. You're not going to see anything on line lock so you can do a massive burnout. view of the lake. Isn't that gorgeous, Tash? So pretty. Right? You want to go for a dip in the lake? No, but I would like you to bring me back on another visit when it's sunny. Yeah, fair enough. You guys, we had a phenomenal day. You gotta help us out. Let us know what you think wifey and I should get for the next fam van. I don't know, I called it a fam van. But... I'm not getting whatever he thinks a fam van. <laughs> Family, wagon, vehicle, whatever you wanna call it. And I already know what you guys think about the next DD supercar. Take the 458 out of the picture. Was there anything else in the August luxury motor car showroom that caught your eye that we could totally make a DD Tire Slayer. White Porsche. That's, that's for you, that's for you. Wifey wants a white GT3 Porsche, the one that's in the showroom. It's not gonna happen right now. It's, it's not, yeah. but we gotta have goals. Thank you so much to Predator Ridge for allowing us to yet again stay in this beautiful cabin. This happens to be the exact same cabin Dave and I stayed in, identical. So we got that gorgeous view in the morning looking over the greens. Tomorrow we're gonna go for a rally. We're going with our boy Ryan. Ryan, who has the eight Lamborghinis, so who knows what he's going to bring tomorrow. I'm excited to see what he does show up with. And I will be tonight again brushing my teeth with my Dazzle Pro Sonic toothbrush, you guys. Links in description, go and pick one up for yourselves. Look at, look at, look at this beautiful smile, right? 
that toothbrush has legitimately given me whiter teeth it since has. I've, right? All that red wine. Hey, <laughs> shh, can't tell them I drink anything other than Red Bull. You guys smash that subscribe button, join the DD family. Wifey and I are going to get some food. We've had a hectic day. This is a brand new camera. I broke the other camera. Mic jack going in right there, the red one. Something's wrong with it. I don't know, I had zero audio for like the last 10 clips that I shot today, which really sucks, but I believe I have enough. Only time will tell when Jamie gets a hold of the footage. So once we fix this one up, we'll have two cameras, which means that one will be getting handed down to Dave. Dave, look out. You're gonna have to learn how to vlog, my friend, and everybody's expecting it. Okay, we're out, peace.